Hello and welcome to Board Game Nights of the Round Table, to where until we get a budget, our tables are rectangle. I'm Chris. I'm Olivia. And today we're playing Horrified, Horrified. American Monsters. <laughs> Fighting Bigfoot, Mothman, and the Banshee of the Badlands. Um, I am playing as the Psychic, and we chose randomly for our characters, and you're playing... Mm -hmm. The Jack. Which is funny because you got blue and I got green, and that was random. <laughs> okay, um, just a quick overview. To defeat the Mothman, we have to flip over all of his traps. Once they're all flipped over to set, we have to get into the same space as him and discard 10 points worth of yellow items to defeat him. Uh, to defeat uh, to defeat the Jersey Devil, we discard brown uh, or yellow. Uh, 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 not the Jersey Devil. Oh, sorry, yeah, I'm sorry. The, the Banshee the of Banshee. the Badlands. We have to move both of our violins to the safe zone. We do that by uh, getting to the same space as the uh, Banshee and then discarding either brown or yellow items. And then we roll dice. And uh, every symbol we roll, we move one of our violins closer to the safe zone. Once we get to the safe zone, we discard any two yellow items. Doesn't matter the value. Uh, and to defeat Bigfoot, we have to uh, use his footprints that he'll be leaving behind to reveal his photograph. Then we go to the high school and we have to arrange his photograph in a way that actually like looks right. And then we discard, um, does it say like? It's the green ones, three uh, of them. Use three green three ones. To defeat and that's over him. here, right? It says it right oh, here. Oh, yeah, right there. Okay, sorry, yeah. Yep. So three, just any three. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter. There's the somewhere. green, the green, yep, the green. Okay. Um, so yeah, it the frenzy so marker it's, 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 is on the banshee cool. because she is the lowest on the frenzy order. We're gonna see how this goes. Uh, do you want to go first, or do you want me to go first? I'll go first. You're actually really good at gathering items because you can gather items from adjacent mm. locations, which is great. Which I don't Ooh. think I can from here because I'm not actually connected. Right? Um, you can spend an action to flip over that trap. Sweet. Okay. So let me so see. Yeah. So they're connected by the roads. The roads tell us which places are adjacent. Location talking, taking any number of citizens with you. Is it? Um, the locations are only adjacent if there's a road leading between the two. They may activate. Uh, they may activate, use an activate action. So you can use one of your actions called yep. activate to uh, lift over, turn so that. I will take the, the stadium one. And just throw that back in the bag. Oh, keep the, uh, flip the trap over. Oh. I'll flip it over here. Oh, flip it over here. If he ever goes to the stadium, he immediately stops and ends his action there. Are you gonna pick up the goat or yes, just leave the goat? Okay, so that's two actions. The goat. What a goat. Yep. And I'm trying to be what I want to do. I can place I my investigation. Is it this is one? Yep. So that'd be three, four? Yeah. Okay. I can place my investigator on the same space as a different investigator. Yep. You might want to do that. Oh, I'm just like Because you're weighing the boondocks. I am. That's oh we'll have to see. Okay. So now that you've done your things, the investigators, you've done your you've taken your four actions. I have. Um we're going to flip over the monster card. So that's here. The it monster card tells us that it gets three items. Three items. Cross Creek <laughs> Citizen, the doctor. Place Dr. Chalice at the hospital. She looks a little creepy in this picture. Well, I guess a better look at it, better look at it doesn't Dr. look too No, bad. she looks fine. She's at the hospital. Well, it looked weird from here. Wait, she's at the hos the stadium. Cross oh, in the hospital. Okay. Stitch. So Dr. the card tells you where to place them. At the hospital. So the she card. needs to get to the stadium yeah, she needs for to get some to reason. Yeah, she, she's a sports you ball fan. You would think the stadium may be where she was and she needs to get to the hospital would okay. make more sense. But so whatever. this is going to go to the ranger station, which is... 
Um, I've, this is our first time playing the game. Ranger Station. I don't understand the bottom. Though. Hold on, give me a second. I'll, I'll help you out. Ranger Station is... Right up there. That's Camp right That one right there. Yep. Yep. This goes to the cabin, which the cabin is where Bigfoot is at right now. There's a torch yeah. by him. And this goes to the resort, which right is here. There. Okay. So, um, the, um... This tells you the um, monsters that activate. I do not believe that's Bigfoot. So, so Bigfoot's Bigfoot going to move. Activates so, for, so for Bigfoot to activate. So that one does first. So we don't do the rest yeah. of these, right? It so Bigfoot's going to move one space row. and you're going to roll the dice before he does it. And nothing. Okay, so he's going to move one space. The monsters always move towards the closest investigator. Um, now, the only way that Bigfoot can get to the investigators is just by going down. So he's going to... Um, let me just double check the rule because... How Bigfoot... Okay, special rules. Okay. Once the attack step is done, Bigfoot moves like an ordinary monster, except he will not stop if he encounters investigators or citizens. Bigfoot will not end his movement at the location with an investigator. If Bigfoot encounters an investigator, you add one to his movement. As Bigfoot leaves and moves for a location, place a footprint at each location. If he runs out of footprint, so it, at each location. Um, so we would leave it there. Well, yeah, but would he leave it at the cabin too? And then would it be placed on the intersection? Well, he'll be at the intersection, so I would say leave it at the cabin. Well, okay, so you think just you, you see Where the rolls are. Been is what I understand. Let's see. Um, if you run, let's see. If Bigfoot encounters, okay, of its move as Bigfoot leaves and moves through locations, place a foot mm -hmm. location. But it says move through. I think you're right. I think it's as he yeah, leaves, as he so not leaves. as his current location. Okay, and so then as he's going through, so then he's going to go here and leave footprints at the cabin, which the cabin's pretty well guarded, so it's hard to get to that. Okay, then finally the frenzy mark. Where's that card at? Right here. Okay, so finally this this flame shows you. There's only three monsters. Flame shows you that the frenzy monster is going to activate, which is the. Uh, Oh, banshee. I thought it was just going in a row, so... Well, yeah, the Bigfoot oh. activated, now the Banshee activates. Oh, okay, so... And so uh, since she's a frenzy, so she's going to go one. So she's right there. Um... I thought it was just one of these, though. I didn't no, think it was all No, every three. monster on the bottom activates. Oh, okay. So you can put that in a discard pile. No, what is the one? That's how much they move, and that's oh. how much dice they roll. Oh, Okay. So you want to just put that here, or you want to put it here? Like I'm just going to put it over here. That's fine. Okay. What's the X? Is that somebody? Who I think know? there's sometimes up to three monsters can activate. Uh, I see. Okay. So I think for my change of plans, I'm going to try to get to the hospital. Oh, we both start out with perk cards, too. I oh. did forget about that. Whoops. The current player takes two additional actions. Skip the next monster phase. Draw and place two items from the item bag. That might be worth it if things start to get, start to get hairy. Now, to get more perk cards, we can play them at any time during the hero phase, unless they're stated otherwise. Um, but, like, uh, we um, we get them by escorting the people where they're supposed to go. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and I'm just going to gather those items in uh, so I can call her next turn to me. That's going to be what I'm going to do this turn. So I'm going to go <laughs> one, two, three, and then four. That way, if I get attacked, I can discard some stuff at least. Okay. Um, and so then that's my actions. Um, and then we're going to draw this. And, ooh, it's going to be... Uh, the Mothman, and no one else, actually. Jersey Devil, and then the El Chupacabra. Okay, so two items get drawn. And then Rainstorm. Remove all footprint tokens from the game board. Place Bigfoot at the town center. So he's actually going to go over here. That's City Hall, actually. Where's the town center at? So this, this footprint goes away. Why does it go away? Because of the card rainstorm. Oh, okay. And it says, um, place Bigfoot at the town center. That's City Hall. Is it City Hall? Mm-hmm. Why wouldn't it say City Hall? I don't know, but that is the center of town. I, I, I believe you. I'm just double-checking, but that's kind of weird. It should say City Hall. 
It should, but that's the center. No, town center's right here. Oh, okay, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> They're having a meeting, Bigfoot. The, <laughs> the Banshee. Yeah. Okay, and then the um, Mothman's going to activate. <laughs> so it can go either way. It can only move one space, and it doesn't roll any dice, which is good because it would have rolled three dice. So it's going to go... Do you want it to go here or here? They're tied either way. I really don't care. Well, hold on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So it's going to go... I think we'll just put it down here all the way. Okay. Okay. So... I thought you might want to go up since you're going to the stadium, but... Oh, uh, why would I go to the How did you skip? Because you got to take the doctor to the stadium. Anyways, um, do you take... The Bigfoot didn't move. He didn't activate, so he doesn't roll the dice. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, the Mothman doesn't roll three dice? Only when he's attacking. Only when he's attacking. Yeah. Okay, okay so it's now your turn. My turn. So I'm going to... This is my special action. So this is this counts as an action, isn't it? Yes. I mean, still gonna do yeah, it's it. a pretty high item. Then one, so one, you're going to move. Two, you're going to pick up those items for three. three and then you're going to activate that. Four. And do I have to pay anything to activate it? Nope. Okay, and then that's the resort. Yep. Just throw that back in the back. That's the motel. Resort. Um... When the investigator ends their movement, oh, you have to end your movement at a location with a closed trap. So this one's still activated. I did. End. You know, you moved after that. You have uh, to end your movement. Well, hold on. I'm a little confused. When an investigator ends their movement at a location with a closed trap, they can activate the arm track by flipping the token note over. Return the specific token to that location on the monster mat. It can use, I. That's a little weird because like your move action, you can move, move, move. Yeah, so. that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I think you just if you're on the same space with a trap is. Always watching. Move the zero items. devil to the location of the citizen farthest away, but we don't have to worry about it because we don't. Yep. So instead, it's going to be, um, Bigfoot, and then I don't think we have the C one, do we? No, that's the El Chupacabra. And then the so Bigfoot's the going to move. Yeah, it's going to move as well. And then so gonna Bigfoot's going to move one. one. Okay, and they move towards the closest person, so, so they're both going to move up me. here. No, I'm right here towards the closest person. I'm two spaces. Uh, oh, we're both two spaces yeah, we're, away. We're both Let's two move two them up there. Yeah. If there. If there's a tie, okay, because they're one two. Because like they I can can't roll two dice, can they? Well, Bigfoot will roll two dice before he moves. Oh, okay. well, he needed to do that. Hold on. Nothing. Nothing. Good. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. Like, if that that Mothman just that it's not like when you end your movement phase, like action. It's like, it's, I guess maybe you have to go to the location and then you can. Act, I don't know. That makes no sense to me. That seems like a little complicated. So do we have to Let get us know him in the to comments. come? No, those are just like those will just stop his movement automatically. Oh, okay. Yeah, once we get all the traps set, then oh, we like just. like if he was trying to get to somebody. That yeah. Would stop so if him. he were here and you were here, for example, yeah. if he tried to go here, that would stop him. Okay. So, um, okay. Well, I'm going to go one because you can we guide can somebody. You. Yeah. So I'll go one. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I can take somebody with me if I place my investigator on any location with another investigator. Uh, the only time you can. So I'm trying to see if I go to... I got items that... So if they hit me, I can... Do you have to stop if you go wait. through them? No. Monsters don't stop moving. So if I go one, two, three, and then we can get the footprint. So, yeah. And I can I can take two hits. So I could okay. hypothetically take three, but I'm good. All right. So I'll go one, two... So I went, I called her one, two, three, and then I think if it's just, you just, do you pick up the Bigfoot for an action? Sorry guys, we'll get all this hammered down in a second. Yeah, you have to use the pickup action. Okay, so three, and I'm gonna do four. So we're gonna just review. Yeah, you wanna keep? No. Nope. Oh, okay. Yep. 
So hey, that's pretty close already to where that needs to be. That's his head. Sweet. Okay. So we'll do the monster phase. We got zero items. El Chupacabra, the hunger. Move El Chupacabra or Chupacabra to the closest player holding a brown item. Uh, doesn't activate, but the um, OH, which I'm not sure what the OH would be. We don't have the OH. We don't have OH. The Mothman activates. He moves three spaces and he rolls one dice. So he's probably going to get close to you. Well, one, two. He will be at my space, but you, he'll you, stop here. Yeah. Do you want him to go to you or to me? You maybe, have a person. Yeah, so maybe you, because you can take a hit. So One, two, three. Yeah. So it's going to roll one die. He's caught. <laughs> well, you don't flip that back over, though. Oh, you don't? No. Ha! Nothing happened. Ha ha. Do I have so to hit him with the Jersey anything? Jersey Devil. What is the OC? Like, I don't... Oh, it's uh, the Ozark... Whatever it's called, the um, hold on, see, if the uh, Mothman enters the location of the trap, it must stop its movement. Yeah, so it just stops its movement. It doesn't like it still attacks you. Um, it's the Ozark Howler. Okay. OH, it's not OZ. I don't know why I said OZ, OH. Man, I am tired, guys. Okay, so nothing happened. We didn't get any new items. Um, so it's now your turn. My turn. You could call those two items to you if you want to, but that's up to you. I am going to. That's those are brown, one. right? Yeah. Yep, I have lots of brown items. Yeah, the brown and yellow is all different. It's like a, that looks like a mustard yellow. <laughs> Because I, I, this game, I don't know, there's just some things that are just like, it looked like it needed a little Where bit more time in the other. do stuff with the Banshee? Um, you discard a brown item to roll one dice or a yellow item to roll two dice on her location. What's, I mean, where's her location? Is that her? Yeah. Okay, so I've and done one. And then you um, move, you can pick a violin and move that away, which we do need to move these violins away. Because they defeat us automatically if they're, if they go to here. Yeah. Okay, well, if I go to her, though, I won't be able to do anything. See, yeah. So I'll, let, I'll just go, uh, two, three, four. Oh, okay. That's pretty smart. Okay, so draw a card. Okay, so we are going to be moving the Frenzy Monster. Well, two items, first of all. Okay. And then we're going to be moving well, read the, the text. Frenzy. Read the text. It just says move the Jersey Devil okay. to the location we'll of the nurses and to the Jersey Devil's current location, which okay, so we don't we have the Jersey Devil. Okay, so we got to take X at the campgrounds. So we're going to move um, the Banshee one, and then she'll roll. City Hall gets that. Two so dice, so she's going to move towards you and roll two dice. Yeah, she is. Okay. So she'll move one and two dice, and mm -hmm. no one else activates. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to roll the two dice. Hopefully she doesn't get the scream. We're good. Yay, okay. nothing. Okay. These dice have been trained well. Okay, so one, two, three. Perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, since I'm on the Banshee's location, I'm going to discard a yellow item. Mm -hmm. Um... Did you put two out there? Yes. Um, when you discard an item, does it go back to the bag? Mm -hmm. Do not return items to the item bags unless you're specifically instructed to, for example. Oh. Whenever you take an okay, action, no, the, the discard pile next to the board. Okay. So this will be our discard pile. Okay. So I, I'm going to discard the yellow item. So it's going to let me roll two dice um, for every um, for every a um, for every power for every hit power thing rolled. I move the violin two spaces, but I can only pick one violin. Uh, move any violin two spaces for everything, so I can actually move both of those two spaces away. That's what I'm going to do to get us away from that. Perfect. So if I'm okay, this is. Let's see, at the Banshee's location, use a brown item to roll one dice or a yellow item to roll two dice, which is what I did. Uh, for every 
Um, a hit power equals move any violin two spaces back towards the safe zone. So any, so I rolled a hit and a power item. Well, so I'm gonna move one, two, and then I'll go one, two. Nice. So, um, do you have two yellow? Oh, you don't have two yellow. You'll have two yellow items. Okay, right, we almost item. can get rid of the banshee in the next couple of turns if we're careful. But then I'm gonna, so I was one, and then I'm gonna go two, three, four. four. So she's now safe. We'll put her, we'll just put her over here just so she's safe. She can watch the sports. And then I get one of these cards. Shelter. Skip the next monster phase. That's what I have. Okay, well. I did shuffle. <laughs> speaking of the next monster phase. I did knock. We got three items. The grease monkey. Place Gus at the gas station. Gus, the gas station is just a tavern, uh, intersection, base, share station, motel, <laughs> gas station. Oh, he is, well, okay, and Gus, we're trying to get him to the bait shop. So, it's right here. Bigfoot moves um, one space, so he's going to move here. So, we're going to put a foot right there. And the banshee. The, the banshee moves. She's going to move towards me. Yes, yeah, she is. And she rolls two dice. She's going to hit one. <laughs> one hit, so you can discard like an item to not take the hit. Do we need green? Mm, not for... For him, right? For Bigfoot, but uh, I have two green right items. Away. So I, oh, wait, they do get I discard? discarded. Yep. Okay. This goes to the discard pile. My turn? Yes, it is. Okay, well, I'm going to pick up this item, of course. One action, okay. And then I'm going to use that item to roll two dice, right? Um, you could. Um, you could also save those for when you're ready to defeat it because you need two yellow items. I do have two yellow items. Yeah, if you discard it, you're going to only have one. But how am I supposed to hit her? You can use brown for one dice. Oh, I was brown. Okay, so that's two actions here. So you picked two? up, that's two. No, you're going to roll one dice. I believe in you. You didn't believe enough. Okay. <laughs> ah, that's three? Yeah, one more time. That one's a four. Yeah, okay. Changing dice. Ah, okay. Do you want to move the blue or the uh, green? Blue. So you're in the save zone Wait, right now. Is that two? Moves yeah. it two? Yep. So you're here. It says move it any two spaces back towards the safe zone. So I still have to move the other one. To yes. Get rid of her. Yep. Lovely. But hey, you, you're still you're still in good shape right now. Can I? Since I have to, this is my well, fourth. Or did I do four? It, well, yeah, you have to do four actions. You did four actions. You grabbed it and then you rolled the dice three times. Yes, so. that's right. Sorry. My turn. It's okay. How many items? Should I skip this phase? Do you want to skip it? Uh, we can both skip I'm it. right there. If you want to skip it, that's fine. I didn't look at the thing. Yep, so you can skip it if you want. Draw and place two items from the item bag. Skip okay. the next monster phase. Well, here, just put that over here for now. Two? Yep. Right. Town center. And general store. Oh, I could have given you two additional actions. We'll see how the next turn goes. Okay. Um, I'm going to go one, two. Um, Buckle my shoe. Yeah, three and four to pick up these Shut things. The door. Where's the bait shop at? Okay. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go one. Oh, that's not even a spot. Okay, so. Ah, you know what? My, my plan is not as good as I thought it was going to be. What do you mean? Oh, there it is. Okay, that road. It, like, that was blocking it. So I'm going to go one, two, and I'll go three and four to flip over to this one. Okay, that one needs to go. That's his arm, I think. So hopefully I need to go down here. 
Yeah, we'll see how the, that one needs to go up here. That one definitely needs to go there. We um, we can discard brown items to swap it out, but look, there's a lovely photo of him right there. <laughs> yeah, that's not the iconic photo. Okay, so it's my turn. Do you want me to play my shelter to keep the Mothman from, or you know? Keep yes, my... please. Okay, so I'm getting surrounded. We'll do that. Okay, it's now your turn. Oh, draw two items, please. Maybe we'll drop some drops in the cemetery for you. That's what I was hoping for. High school. High school's right there. Ooh, green. General store. Sorry. Which one was it? It's general store. What item was it? Yeah, that one. Okay. There's... Both of them are for general store. Okay. Right there. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> Well, I'm thinking maybe I should... Well, if Bigfoot on. activates, we can have him come towards me, which he he keeps moving anyway. Well, I guess I might as so. well take a chance. Do one. Yep. I mean, yeah. No. I would still just use one of your yellows. Um, right here? Yeah, and just roll two dice. <laughs> Watch, they're both going to have symbols on them. Because at least then we can just... Yep, I called it. So that's two actions. You can move away now. Or, because uh, you, you, you've you activated two actions if you want, I oh, can Oh man, I should have called that item to me and then I would have had the two yellow. <sighs> well, too late now. Uh, okay. So, okay, so I still have two actions. Yeah, it, so I'm going to use this to give you two additional actions. So that's going to be, so you fought him twice. Oh. And then you flip that over, that's three, so you have two more actions. Um, three, four, there we go. Okay. Do we need green items for anybody? Yes, him. How much? Do we just need two green items? We just need two. Okay, but then no, we need three. Need, we need three. Three, and then we need brown items, though, to uh, flip his finger around to, to slide his puzzle. Okay. Yes. Okay, so it's my turn. Remove all footprint tokens from the game board. Place Bigfoot at the trailhead. Trailhead. I don't know where the trailhead's at. Oh, right here. And there were no footprints to remove. And now it's going to be none of them. Mothman. Oh, Mothman, sorry. It's going to move one. Oh, so he's going to go. But he can't roll anything. So. Yep, so he's only moved one space. Oh, two items. The unfortunate thing about Mothman, where his items went, they're like on edge locations that he won't be traveling through. So. Mansion. And this is the cabin, right? Yeah. No. Where's the bait shop again? Right there. Oh. I'll go one, two. Oh, I can get him to the bait shop. I go one, two, three, four. And okay. um, at least we can get another perk card that way. So that's what I'll do. I'll go one, two, three, four, which takes him off. I draw a perk card. Not that one. Not yeah. that one. Thank you. Chopper lift. Place an investigator at any location. That's going to be nice. And then we're going to see what the monster is. The Mothman is going to activate. Just watch. No. The uh, Banshee is going to activate twice, though. Move Chupacabra to the furthest location. Okay. Uh, that doesn't happen. So the Banshee... Oh, yeah, two. Um, so the Banshee is going to move twice. So it's going to move... Oh, it's going to be able to get to you. That's fine. So it only gets to roll one dice. So one, two... So it's going to take a hit. Do you have any items? Just one. Ooh. What's my good one? Wait. Two. Ah, yep. Seems weird that we yeah. don't put them back in because we don't have a whole lot left in here. Well, the idea is you make do with the resources you have and it activates again because it's the frenzied monster. Fantastic. Well, I don't ah, know. you're defeated. Yep. Which is fine. You don't have any items to lose or anybody to die. So can you move that the terror tra track up to one? Here you go. Okay, it's uh, your turn. You start out at the hospital. So you're here. You got all your actions. Except nothing. Well. Can you take me to the diner, please? Yeah. One, two. Okay. Three. And then can you hit me the two yep. up there? Using your special ability. Yeah. That's why you're able to do that? Yep. Okay. Uh, so. Oh, yes. Ozark Haller. Dead end. 
Replace any empty trail spot with a new face down tracker token. This player gains a death omen token. Oh, we don't have the uh, that. So bait shop. Hey, look right where I'm at. That's a brown item though. Oh, and the gas station. Color. Okay. Gas station. Where's that at? It's. It's right here. Oh, yep. Another green item. I mean, we're swimming in green items right now. Right. Okay, so. It's just this one. I the don't well, the banshee activates any. too. Yeah, just the banshee. She activates twice. Right there and there. Oh, okay, sorry. She's going to unfortunately. One, one two, she three. Two. Yep, she's going one, and then two, and then and she then rolls two dice. Man, yeah, Sad she's for me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the banshee. Which one the was whales. it that you was move it all violins one space towards this? Yeah, these two. Towards. Okay, so these just move over here. Okay, that's it. Yep. Okay. One space. That's all. Okay. Okay, so it's my turn, right? Or is mm -hmm. it? Okay. One. Oh, man, Bigfoot's not really being very cooperative, is he? No. Let me see. We need. I guess I'll go one. Oh, I could teleport to you, and that'll make save me some space. So I can go one, two, three, and pick up those items. Yeah, it's probably the best thing for me to do. I really want to get rid of this banshee. Um. Yeah. How many of you? Have? Yeah, I'll. I'll well, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go. One, because the psychic can move to any location with another investigator. I'll go two, three, four. Um, before I uh, before I end my turn, do you want me to move you to a different location? Yes, please. Where do you want to go to? Um, that actually might change my strategy up a bit, depending on where you want to go. Actually, yeah. Where do you want to go? So. I mean, it'd be great if I could go where you were, because then I can pick all of that up. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to airlift you to over here, away from the Banshee. Because then what I'll do is I'll go one, two, three, four, and then let me spring the last trap. Okay. So that's what I'll do. One, two, three, four. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'll go one, two, three. And then you can spring it. Yeah, four. And then that gun is six, and then I just need four more, and I can defeat the Mothman. Oh, is our Kyler dead end? Okay, two items. And, uh... I did shuffle these. Yeah, and the Banshee moves twice, which yeah, still gets her close enough to get to you. Come no, on. she's going to come towards me, because I actually have an item that I can take the hit. So, we'll go one, two... Oh, no, that's all she can move. Because yes. she activates for her Banshee thing, yes. and then the Frenzy thing activates. So here you go. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the revolver. Did you do the items, the two? No. I thought you were going to do I said there's two items. Sorry, I didn't hear you. I wasn't paying attention. General store for the poison. How fitting. Yep, right there. And bait shop. How much is poison? Four. Okay. I can get the pistol, and if I get to the general store, we can get rid of Mothman. Okay, but I also need two for her, don't I? Yeah, I'm just Mothman. Two yellows? Do I need two yellows yes, for her? Yes, uh, you need any two yellows, yep. Okay. But that's a six and a four, and you can use any two yellows, and you're on, you can grab Yeah, it. I have plenty. Yeah. So I've got it now, right? Yep. One, one, two. Two. Well, yeah, one, two, yeah. Um, we Trading is an option. Share items between investigators at your location. So what we could do is I could pick up the gun, I could pick up this item, and then teleport to you. So one, two, three, four, and then on your turn, we could share, and you could have the two yellow ones. I have two yellow. Yeah, you could use the yellow one right now to fight roll two dice to try to get both of these moved to safety. And then you'll have all next turn to try to take care of them. Okay, I see what you mean. So, well, you gotta move first. Well, I can get this okay. to you. So, so you're going to roll two dice. Come on, get two symbols, I believe. Yay! Okay, so now we're going to reveal a card. Oh, no Zar Holler again. Replace any empty trail spot with a new face down tracker token. This player gains the Death Omen token, so you're going to have the Banshee and the Banshee. 
And she's going to move two, and she can roll four dice. She's got to attack twice. Okay, man. This is going to do all my best laid plans here. That's okay. Oh, two attacks, so get rid of... Two? Two items, yep. Oh, wait. Oh, my word. Sorry. It's okay. Come on. Okay, one more item. Not bad. I was, I was like, oh, she's got to get all the exclamation points. Okay, it's my turn. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and then whew, four. Okay. Should I give these a shuffle before drawing one? I don't know. Oh, and hey, she doesn't even act. Well, she does activate once, but we'll see. Place Melvin at the high school. Melvin in the high school is here. Mm-hmm. I don't know where the Mothman's at, but, um, okay. Uh, so she is going to activate, so she's going to roll two dice. You want to roll those? I'll take the hits. I knew it. Sorry. It's okay. Let's see, I'll get rid of the binoculars. And, oh, we get three items, by the way. And for the exclamation point, move a violin, so let's move one space. Just one violin or both of them? Just one. We wrote two exclamation points last time. Yes. Oh, hey, cool. You could call that to you. I will. And bait shop. Nice. Ooh. Okay, so it's my turn? Yeah. Okay, I want to call these items to me first. And then do you I am share? going to... Do you want to share and take this? Or do you want to just... take an item, so no. So you're going to use that? Okay, to roll one dice? Yep. Or do you think I should do two? If you share, you double your odds. So if we share... Because I did one. Yeah, you did one. Now I'll do share. two. That'll do two. And then we'll discard that. Three. Because then you can... Yes! And then... You can discard those two four. items. And we'll defeat the Banshee. Yay! Ah, oh, my ears will have relief now. Right. Any two items to defeat her. So then this goes to the... Uh, Mothman. Yep. Which we need to get 10 items, but there's a good pump shot. Unfortunately, there is a person between us and him, but you want to reveal the card? Yes. Oh, of course. Oh. Mothman, those eyes. Place the eye of the Mothman token at your location. Okay. Then let me get some Mothman activates. No, actually, no. he doesn't. The Bigfoot does. Bigfoot does. How many spaces? One, one space. Okay, can you put a Bigfoot on his, a Bigfoot track on his foot? How many, how many items did we get, by the way? I can't. <laughs> That's okay. Two. Okay. Sheriff's Station, which is right here. And Ranger Station, which is there. Okay. And then... One, two, that's it. three. <sighs> I'm surprised that the Mothman doesn't activate. That's weird. That is weird. Okay. Um, Better save the person. Well, I don't think I need to because he'll come towards me. Well, I can move him with me, so no, it's he's fine. gonna go straight to the inner. He's gonna go straight for that eye. Yeah, you know, where, where, where's he gotta go to? He's gonna go right up here. Well, yeah, but he wants to go to. He wants to go to the ranger station, which is up by Bigfoot. Yeah, so you're calling to you. <sighs> My thing is like, I guess I'm getting a little antsy to try to defeat the monster, the Mothman, because we we're like ones, like because this this is here, and that's really tempting me. What is it? But maybe I just, I'll take him, I'll go one, two, three, and then four, and then we can... What do we need to do for the Mothman? Yeah, I think I want to do that. Oh, we need to, we have all the traps sprung. Oh, we just need seven? Ten. Ten? Is this ten or seven? I thought it's ten. Ten. Ten, I can't yeah. see. Okay. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do this. What I'm going to, I'll go ahead and do this thing. Oh, you have to be in a trap. Oh yeah, with a trap. So we have to with learn the arm to a trap. trap token with Mothman's been ten plus to defeat it. Well, and the thing is, his eye is right next to a trap, so that's fine. We can learn him right there. And once oh, he's frenzy, he's hotel. going to be activating. Oh, motel. Yeah. I mean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go. One, two, three, which drops him off at the ranger station. Let me draw a perk card. It's an arrow left again, so I can move the guy to anywhere. 
And then I'm just going to go four. Do the oh, you don't want to move back to me? Uh, I don't have items to defeat him. Oh, okay. You just have a six. Yeah. Okay. So next turn I'll reveal that, but here we go. Um, the salesman place Willie at the motel. And we got two items. Right here. Well, I'm looking for Willie. I know where the motel is at. Willie. Okay, he's going to go to the motel, and he's trying to get to the tavern. So he's trying to get there. <laughs> and uh, two items, and the Mothman's going to move two spaces. Which of course gets he into... is. One, two. Yep, which means he can roll two dice. Turn right at me. One hit. What's his uh? What's his power again? Do here we'll get rid of you. Actually, can I switch that out for an arene? I yeah. So we need the brown ones for him. Yep. Here you go. Did you get the two items? No. Because I got distracted. Hey. Stadium. Cool. Oh hey, cool. And campground. The campground's up there. Yep. My turn? Yeah, do you want me to use the chopper to pull you anywhere? Um, or do you want to try to get Melvin safe? <laughs> I think I'll just work on Melvin and pick up stuff on my way because... One, two... You can actually get to the tavern. Yeah. Uh, or close to it. Like oh, one space away. Yeah. One... Well, you call them one and then two, three, four, right? One, two, two three, four, yeah. Well, you can call them to you. Right. Yep, so that's one. Two... Three, four. There you go. Now you got a perk card. Yes. If it's a chopper lift. <laughs> Supply drop. Each player draws and places one item from the item bag. Oh, that's not bad. You might as well play that now. That that's way we know what we have. Here, yep. You can just do two items, one for each of us. I don't care. Oops. <sighs> Stadium. Ooh. And Ooh. town center. I wish I had a card that could let me move a monster to any location, but um Okay. Um so the monsters activate. Oh, let me do that. So Those eyes. Oh. Those eyes. Place the eye of the Mothman token at your location. Of course, why not? Are you sure you shuffled these? I feel like all the monsters are after me. Oh, by the way, once you run out of items, that's when you re-add these to the bag. That way all the oh. items get used. Bigfoot moves Town one. center. Okay, hold on. And he's going to actually move back. Towards to, you. He's going to move to my space and then back to that space because you add one to his movement. And the campgrounds. He's going to roll three dice, though. Oh, yep. So he's going to roll three dice. and mm -hmm. then. Oh, two exclamation points. That's not good. Ooh. What does it say over here? Move the tear marker up one spot at, on the tear track and flip a revealed photo tile face oh, down. So we, we just flip lost both of those. Two of both of those, yeah. And then that tear track marker moves. To three. And then he's going to go Does it here. Move to three? And then, or no? No, just once. So he's going to go here and then here. So he's going to leave footprints here since he left that location and then he left that location. Why did he go that way and then go back? He doesn't stop on the space with an investigator. You add one to his movement. So, okay. yeah. Okay. I'm going to go one, two. So let's flip over those two top ones again. Okay. The investigator uses the pickup action to collect Bigfoot's footprint mm -hmm. tokens. So tokens with an S. In order to reveal the... To okay, so so I could collect both of those tokens. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm, I'm taking that as it is. Okay, so that's one. And I'll go here, two. And then I will go three. So let's reveal a third one. And this goes here. I think this goes like this. Oh, well. And I'll go four for picking these up. Oh, look at that. Ha <laughs> oh, Can I see it? It goes like that. Yeah, so this one's going to go down here. It's going to go right here. No, it's his leg. It's going to go near the bottom. Oh, okay. So that's good. So we know where two of them are. So that's good. Okay. So monster time. Those eyes. Place the Mothman's uh, token at your location. Perfect. 
And then Bigfoot's going to go. He's going to go. He's going to roll three dice. You want to roll three dice? And we'll have go. Two hits. Nothing. Okay. So, screw the Banshee of the Badlands goes. So that's yep. So then he's going to put another set of footprints right where I'm at. That's perfect. Okay, I have eight yellow points, um, and there's a uh, one. There's plenty around. We just need to try to get the Mothman to a good location. I have a brown. I have, a, and you have a couple browns. So it's up to you if you want to. Okay. Whatever you want to do. Uh, one, two, three. Four. And I'll pick those up on my next turn. Okay, are you hoping the Mothman comes to you? Yeah, I might as well. I mean, I can't really turn these over yet okay. and work on it, so. Zero. Rainstorm. Remove all footprint <sighs> tokens from the game board. Place Bigfoot at the swimming hole, which is down here. Uh, Mothman moves one, so Only he'll one. move toward me. You should have gone to the motel. <laughs> Sorry. Why okay. did I, I didn't have enough yellow? Oh, that's true. That's so. true. Well, I could have gone to you, but it's fine. Um, and then he won't roll anything, so... Okay. And no items? No items. <sighs> okay. Bigfoot's giving us problems. Your turn. Okay, well, that kind of changes. I guess, like, well, no, if I go to the high school, that'll get Mothman. Um, I guess I can go one, get those items. Yeah, because those are browns, and we need browns. So I'll go one, I have tons of browns, so... Two. Do we need... Oh, we need green, not brown, for so, him. Oh, we need any two green items. I got plenty of green items. Okay, because I was like... Or is it two or three? Three. 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 I, I've got I four have, green items. I have one. I was so. thinking brown for some reason. Because okay. we're collecting evidence on him. Yes. So, um... Yeah, the, um... The brown looks like it's livestock, the yellow is yeah. weapons, and the um, green is more like evidence, like light and stuff. Okay, so I have two actions, and I really don't know what else I want to do. I guess I'm just going to go, like, three and then pass, because, like, I want to be closer to Bigfoot, and that gets me right there. Okay. And because I want the Mothman to come down towards us, and I got plenty of items, so you I can take yellow. a hit. Okay. Okay, pick up your card. Yeah, come on, give us the Mothman. Hey, Frenzy, perfect. Place Abe at the cemetery, the groundskeeper. Abe at the cemetery, perfect. Okay. Uh, so the Mothman is going to activate. He's going to move one. He's going to roll two dice. You want to roll the two dice? So he oh. doesn't go towards the eye. He only rolls towards the eye um, when they ask. Oh, when the, the frenzy, frenzy thing is rolled. rolled. Okay. No, don't roll a frenzy. Well, I don't know if I Do you want me to roll, roll this. Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna roll a frenzy. Free items, please. Here we go, guys. Give me two hits. Hey, blanks. Okay. Ranger station. This goes up. And motel. And cemetery. Okay. Where's Abe want to go? Let's go to the stadium. Man. Everybody wants to go to the stadium for some yeah. reason. Okay, I'm going to pick up these. One. So that's one. That gives me a total of ten. Okay. So I will play these three, and that takes care of the Mothman. And a stupid eye. And a stupid eye. So move the Frenzy token to Bigfoot. So that's two. Oh. Um, um, you can go there and start switching some stuff around if you want. What stuff? You use the high school. Um, okay. You can move... Three, four. Okay. Now Bigfoot should start moving a little bit more. So the green, but I don't have enough green. I do. Okay. The Soda Jerk. Cross Creek Citizen. Place Marie at the general store. Where does she want to go? Oh, good point. Uh, town Center. Okay. It's kind of weird that she'd want to go there. That's a well, very unsafe place. Yeah, that's where I think she'd sell her stuff. Probably. Um, the Frenzy is going to move one. Yep, so put a footprint at the swimming hole. Footprint swimming hole. Oh, well, we can get rid of these traps, too. Um, 
rolls one, but I don't think they roll. No. Oh, he rolls one dice. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm roll a die. Reroll that one. <laughs> you didn't even shake it. You just went. Oh, wait, oh, it's the same thing. Terra marker moves. She doesn't know how to roll a dice. Whatever. Let's go over here. Okay. It was just meant to be. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I have to turn this over. Yep. Okay. Well, um, one, two, three. One, two, well, yeah, one, two, three. Are we allowed three, to move four. these around? I think, oh no, they have to be face up. So I can't do yeah, anything. There's anyways. no point. In, let's see. I guess I'll do a chopper. To the swimming hole? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do a chopper lift and go to the swimming hole. Well, maybe I should start getting some perk cards to help us out. So, go one, two, three, four. That's what I'll do. Okay. Uh, we're getting close to. This is a Mothman. Okay. Uh, Cross Creek Citizen. The councilman placed Jimmy at City Hall. Jimmy. That's not Jimmy. Jimmy! Oh, he's in a wheelchair. Okay. He goes to Sin and he goes, he wants to go to the mansion. So, um, and he wants to go to the stadium. So we'll figure that out, but, um, hold on, sorry. Any? About three items and frenzy. Oh. Ah, again, Bigfoot's clobbering us, guys. He's, gonna go He's like, here. forget it. Yeah, which flips over this. It's like, dude, we can't do anything if you keep dropping stuff. I keep flipping things over. Okay, I am going to. Can you airlift me, and I'll just pick these two yeah, up? Yeah, go ahead. One. Okay. Oh, that'll even count. So, yeah, one. Button. Two. Two. So again. And then three. There's really nothing I can do more because I don't want to. Yeah, you want to be space. right next to him because you want him to hit your space and then he moves again yeah. and then gets more footprints going. Yeah, so I'm just going to. So, yep, you want to reveal that and we'll. Two spaces stalking Two their prey. Move the chupacabra yep. to the nearest location with to the, the high school. brown space. And Remove that to token. So. Because he eats animals, but that's why. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah. So. He doesn't. The, he doesn't move this round. How did we get everything but Bigfoot? Okay. Okay, so it's my turn. Let's see, he wants to go to the stadium. So I go one, two, three, four, to the stadium. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Because, like, perk cards are important. Oh, sorry, this is over here. So we'll go. One, two, three, four. So he's safe at the stadium, which gives me a perk card. Each player draws and places one item from the bag. Go ahead and do that, because... Cabin. What's up there? Cabin right there. And the swim hole. Okay, and then we'll do this. Uh, Bigfoot goes, thankfully, but haunted music. Okay, so it's going to be uh, two, two monsters, and then the Banshee... On the Banshee Monsters mat, move the violin furthest from the skeleton two spaces towards it. So, hey, nothing happens, but he's going to move one space. We're going to roll two dice first. So, help me. Yay, nothing. So, he's going to go one and then two. So, he'll put a thing here and here. And then, so, did you get the two items? Yes. Okay. Yay. So, one. Yep. Two, three, four. Okay. So I have, okay. So, um, oh, so flip over. I mean, brown items yes. to move the picture? Yes, you can either swap an item with a brown item or move slide that many spaces. The and park ranger. Place ranger Elena at the ranger station. Move the frenzy marker to the next monster. Move you each citizen one space toward their safe Where's, where location. Where'd she go? Um, Where'd she go? Hold on, I'm looking. Ranger station. 
the ranger station. She wants to go to the campground. And then what do you do? Um, move each move the frenzy marker to the next, and then move each system one space toward their safety location. So here, here, and here. Okay. And then you're going to yep. two dice. One hit, so And nothing. then move three. So he's going to go one, two, three, four. So just put one here, two here, and one there. Where? One here. He's a little clunky in my opinion. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, but that's okay. Okay, so it's my turn. Okay. I'm going to go one. And then I'm going to discard this horse so I can slide four things around. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. It's two actions. I'm going to discard the goat for three so I can get three. So this will go one, two, three. Um, and then I will discard the last goat to go one, two, three. So you can swap two tiles, just so you know. Like, swap two tiles? Yeah, so you could put, like, swap these two, for example. You mean these two? You could do that, yep. The farmer. Place Jose at the farm. Or Josie. Man, they're all coming out. Yeah, well, the, yeah. And, um... Any items? Uh, three items. And Bigfoot moves one space, and he rolls two dice. Yay! So he's gonna go one, two. So, and that's. Here we go. That's kind of weird. I feel like that I can just swap those two. Well, you can read, like, you can read it up. Turn in the footprint trick and reveal the big platform top at the high oh. skull. Turn, turn in any item to slide or swap tiles until all the tiles are in the current position. Okay. So well, here's the swap. three, and I'll just swap these Yeah, two. I set that up for you, but I, I didn't want to be like, hey, do this, because I want you to play too, you know? Yeah, that's fine. And so there's now, the picture. So do you have enough green items? You need How three many? green items. I have three, exactly. So, so I that just was need one, to go two. to this location. Is there a way to get there? Yep, yep. And, and three. Bye-bye. Bigfoot's revealed. You know, it's like people have been working, looking since the 70s for Bigfoot, and they found them in an afternoon. You just gotta <laughs> apply yourself actually. and take some time, yeah. You know, if you wanna put it in the work, right? Right. <laughs> okay. So, that was Horrified, American Monsters. Uh, we will say that we love Horrified. Yeah. Um, in general, so, um, yeah. I think I prefer Universal Monsters. I definitely agree. Um, prefer universal monsters. I mean, the board is nice. Like, I like the different options yeah. and the color pops. But um, I definitely like the characters better in Universal and the monsters better in Universal as mm -hmm. well. And I will say, I think these monsters are a little bit more interesting to fight. Like, it seems like there's a little bit more variety to them. Yeah, I would say that. Um, like Bigfoot, like the idea that he's trying to actively avoid the players, which is fine. Yeah. But I think the way he, like, it says they move as normal, so they're always moving towards the nearest uh, person. But then it's like, so it's like, if he's trying to hide, I think his, it should be he moves away from people. Like, yeah. I would rather see that, but. Yeah. Because um, it felt weird that he keeps, like, walking into our space and then walking away from it. I don't know. To me, that just seems weird um <laughs> but maybe he's getting like past you and that leaves yeah, a clue yeah. because you know how you can see the footprints I yeah i know. guess i don't know but uh the mothman was fun i think going around the map to spring the traps and stuff was fun we never got um, him into a frenzy where he like yeah he just goes to that space yeah space, but yeah and i think the banshee was fun too yeah yeah it was fun yeah i love the 1950s aesthetic though i will yeah. say that that's fun yeah i do um but yeah, I, 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 this, this is fun. For us, we love Horrified, so it's yeah. worth having. I think if you think you'll like the game, but you won't necessarily know if you love it or not, Yeah. Um, maybe just get one of them. Like, which, what, whichever theme really sticks out to you. There's a Greek monster, and then there's a new one that's World Monsters, and that's just a, like, there's a Sphinx, um, a Yeti, and Cthulhu. So I'm interested in that yeah, one. Yeah, so whichever one you think you would prefer, mm -hmm. I would say pick that one up. Yeah. And then if so, you really love it, then you can get the extra ones. Yeah. So the component quality to me is a little less than desirable. I think the yellow and the brown just look a little too close to each other. Like I would it, say that. You could mistake that for yellow. If somebody said, "Give grab me the yellow yeah. token. I don't know. It looks like a brown mustard. Also, the bag, 
It's a cloth bag in the uh, original game, and it's just like, like this cheap plastic. plasticky bag here. The miniatures are fine, but our our banshee's base is warped. Yeah. Um, and it's like we just opened the game, didn't we? Oh uh, no, no, but the base shouldn't be warped. Like that is, it's really weird. It's anyway, weird. but other than that, I mean, it doesn't really affect the game that much. It's just normally you can use Steam to fix miniatures, but this I don't even know if Steam would fix that. I don't. But I'm not going to worry too much about it. It's fun. It's not falling over, so. No, it's it still works. The, the artwork is good. Yeah. Um. Again, they they nail the 1950s. I, I do like how they nail it the looks um. Yeah, it looks like, like a, a notebook. notepad. Yep. Yeah. I think and that's the monsters cool. look like they're files, which I like too. So they nail the kind of investigation, yeah. like the government agency investigating the yeah. small town. So this is fun. Uh, I'm glad we have it because it does give us variety, but I think we'll probably play Universal more than this, but this was fun. Probably, yeah. um, Again, if you love Horrified, then yes, you're going to like more yeah. Horrified. This is what the game... The game is for Horrified fans. Definitely. Uh, so I think that's it for the day. Yep. Um, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take the initiative and roll out.